Hi y'all, I'm Sam and you're watching Country Music Minute. We're hanging out here in Nashville, Tennessee at the Country Radio Seminar with Gretchen Wilson. What an honor to be standing here with you today. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Yeah. So I'm sure this is not your first rodeo. No. You've been to CRS before. How does it feel to be back? doing what you love. Uh, it feels amazing. You know, I took a couple of years off to uh, do my first job, and that is be a mom. I have a teenage daughter who uh, was reaching those critical years, and I thought it was important for me to be home for a little bit, and that was just wonderful, and it gave me the time to, to like, regroup and recoup and get creative and write a whole bunch of songs, and so, uh, yeah, it's been great, and uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this week because it's like my grand reopening. It's like, uh, I'm still here. Back. I'm back. Yeah. So it's good just to see everybody and catch up and just kind of make the rounds. Yeah. Well, um, you know, that that is, is so important. And I think, you know, that being your first job, that connects with fans all across, yeah. all across. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I've, I think everybody knows me and, uh, and they know that I, it, it is what it is. I, you know, what you see is what you get. I've, I didn't make it when I was 20. I made it when I was 27. So I was already set in my ways, you know, and uh, I think that's what endeared the, uh, me to the fans really is that I was just a, you know, what you see is what you get girl. I'm, I'm very honest and, and I'm very open and uh, it, it shows in my songwriting. And so I didn't feel like it was going to be that surprising to them when I said, hey, my kid needs me. I'll see you in a little bit, you know, so I'm I'm just so thankful that everybody uh, waited and that, that I'm still, you know, relevant. That just makes me feel good. We're so happy you're back making Thank music, you. doing Thank music. You. Um, you've already achieved so much. You've won Grammys, you've wrote a book, you know, <laughs> you've toured across the world. What's next? I, you know what? I don't know. I just wake up every day with a smile on my face and just happy to be here. And I've just, I, I've got such an incredibly wonderful life and great friends and family. So I'm just, I'm looking forward to whatever comes my way. You know, I'm just, I'm just really uh, happy to, to still be making music and to have, I think I've written some of the greatest stuff that I've ever written that's coming out on this album. And, and uh, you know, the single's doing good and I'm booking the tour. And so I don't know, life, life doesn't get much better than this. Yeah life throws you lemons you just got to run with it <laughs> well a lot of the artists that I have talked to today I mean that is their goal their dream to be doing what you've done before any advice you would give to them Ooh, to like new younger artists mm -hmm. yeah um be true to yourself be true to yourself and um, at the end of the day you know in this business there's a lot of people that are that are working with you but also kind of making money on you and it can wear you down really fast and it can really like wear you out and make you wonder why you're doing but don't forget the reason why you got into this business to begin with and that was because of your heart and your soul and it's in your gut and it's in your blood and don't let anybody take that away from you be true to yourself always because the rest of it will fall in place well, kind of want to take you back to your younger days. Okay. I was reading an article that John Rich posted, and he said one of the best memories of his life was when he was sitting in a bar, you were his bartender, and you got up and you sang, and then it, it's been history from there on out. And you've been making music ever since. What was that moment like when you met him? I mean, because your career took off after that. Yeah, well, John Rich wasn't... John Rich yeah. that you guys know and there was no big and rich uh, I mean John John was just this guy that was in this other band once you know but I didn't even know him from that so I thought he was just some loser trying to get my phone number in the bar that night honestly because <laughs> he walked up with his hey want a record deal and I was like why you got one in your pocket because if you don't order a drink and get out of my face I got a line of people behind you you know that's kind of how that yeah. went so I think right then I, we probably just both knew that we were cut from the same cloth and yeah. we were destined to be good friends yeah now, speaking of John Rich, I have to ask you, what a, what is this whole music mafia thing? Well, that's kind of where it started. You know, uh, Kenny and John were writing songs together, and that was the most that they had going on. They knew a few other people and then got to know me, and we all started just jamming together, and we decided that we were we were good. And, you know, it may not be what was happening on radio right now, and it may not be what everybody thinks country music's supposed to sound like, but we enjoyed each other, and we really fed off of each other, and we all felt like we were talented enough that we deserved this break. So we put this group together and we started making a lot of noise in Nashville because we thought we deserved to be heard and uh, that's how the Music Mafia was born and we're still all good buddies. You're either the only female in that group, right? I am. I have the uh, the godmother. Oh, wow, look at this. I'm the only, I think I got the only godmother ring. You, there, could, you so. could take somebody out with that ring if you had to. Yeah, I have. No. <laughs> well, let's talk about your new single, Rowdy. Um, it's just released. 
tell us a little bit about this song. This is a song that uh, I thought of when I was uh, in the shower a few months ago, uh, and I, I kind of knew that I, when I came back, I needed something that sounded very typical Gretchen Wilson, and I wanted it to be a statement song. I wanted it to, to have the kind of lyric in there that says, hey, I have not gone anywhere. I'm still here, and I am ready to rock with you guys. And so, uh, yeah, I met up with Trent Tomlinson and Shane Miner and told them my idea and played them a little bit of it, and then they helped me put the whole thing together, and uh, I think it's the perfect comeback. It's like an anthem song for me, just like Redneck was. Yeah, well, girl, we are so excited for you. I grew up listening to Redneck Woman. Love it. I play Thank it on re repeat. So it is such thank an you. honor to meet you and talk thank to you. Thank you so much. So, yeah, it. you guys, Gretchen Wilson. Y'all, thank you so much for watching Country Music Minute. Remember to follow us on our socials and go check out her new single, Rowdy.